Okay, here's a quick look at using automation envelopes in Pro Tools. So I have a simple session here with a drum loop that I've repeated many times. And automation uh, is, can be best understood by just looking at some examples here. So I've clicked this little triangle in the bottom of the track info window here. And if I click it, I see this thing that says volume with a line. And this line you can think of as a graph that controls volume over time. So for instance, I can make little dots by taking the grabber tool here, the hand tool, and just clicking on the line. And then I can also grab these dots and move them around. And this line is now controlling volume, as you can hear. If this doesn't work for you, take a look at this part of the track here. Right now it says read in green. This is a menu of different modes that I can have for my automation. So I can turn automation off, in which case, nothing happens. And then there's other modes, like write, where I can actually write automation. So if I bring up my mixer and push play and grab the volume knob, I can draw my own automation. And when I push stop, that new automation is written. You can see here, like that. There's a plus sign here, and if I push that, I can get other lanes of automation. So these are called automation lanes. And so, for instance, I can have another lane for mute and for pan. I can also have lanes of automation for parameters of effects. So if I hop over to the mixer window, and I choose an effect, I'm going to scroll up to inserts, and I'm going to choose a simple effect, a simple one band EQ. And let's just hear what this sounds like. Now I have some volume automation that I don't actually want anymore. So I'm going to uh, take my select tool. So up here, I'm going to select tool. In the lane of automation, I'm going to select all this automation and push delete, and that gets rid of it. Uh, and now I'm going to go back to the mixer, click my little plug-in to get the window associated with that effect, and let's take a listen to this EQ. So you can get the idea of what it's doing here. The EQ is just uh, controlling uh, the attenuation or amplification of different frequencies. So I can boost or cut in really high parts of the sound, or the middle, or the low part. And if I want to automate this, there's kind of a two-step process here. So I have to push under where it says Auto here, I have to push this little menu button, and I get the list of all the parameters associated with this effect. So I'm interested in the frequency, so I have to push Choose Frequency and add it to this list of things I can automate. And I'm interested in the gain, so I'm going to automate that. I now have these two things that can show up as automation lanes. So if I push plus here, now where there wasn't before, there's now a category for this effect, EQ3, this one band EQ. And I can have a lane for gain, and I can have a lane for frequency. And I'm going to drop this down here. And if I leave this at latch and push play, I'm going to go back here. I'll just put it back on write mode. If I put it on write mode and push play, So look, there's some automation that just got written. And that was in write mode. Notice after I push stop, this goes to latch mode. What latch mode does is uh, it can play the automation I've already written, but if I grab hold of a control, I can override the automation and write new automation. So here we go. I'm going to grab this gain knob and just hold it steady. And now I'm going to let go of it.
and see that is now overwritten. All of the stuff that used to be there is now one flat line. I'm going to undo that because I actually prefer what I had before. Uh, once I'm done writing automation, I'm going to turn this to read so that now it'll read my automation and I don't have to worry about accidentally overwriting it. If I leave this in write accidentally and I just want to listen to what this sounds like, Notice what it's doing. It wrote over all the automation that I had. So this is a very dangerous thing about the write mode with automation, is you can write over stuff. So I just did. I just pressed undo, and I got all that back. I'm going to move this back to read. And I have my. I have my little performance on the EQ recorded here, but instead of recording it as sound, I've recorded it as these graphs, and I can actually go in and edit these graphs if I want. So I can go, for instance, to the pencil tool, and I can draw new lines. Like so. Okay, that's a quick overview of using automation with effects. Uh, the main point to remember is that you have to decide in advance what you want to automate, and you do that in this little menu here. So every effect is going to have a little symbol that looks like that, and you just need to choose which parameters you're controlling.